Hello everyone, hello and welcome once again. I'm Vic Witch Art Witch and today we are unboxing Scrawler Box 107. Very excited, I've seen uh, a lot of people are excited about this box from what I can tell. I've tried my best to avoid spoilers. Um, not entirely successful, but I've tried my best. So, let's have a look at what's inside Scrawler Box 107, shall we? I hope you guys are alright in the heat. At the moment, it's um, it's warm, isn't it? It's warm down here on the south coast. Ooh, this box is a bit full. It's a bit full. Whatever's in there is a bit solid up there. Can you see it bowing out a bit? I don't know if you can see it, but... Bowing out a bit, it's quite full this one. I'm intrigued. It's it's very melty down here on the south coast. I hope everybody who is broken up for summer has wonderful plans. Since the last box, I have officially graduated. I am now officially a graduate. I do have a math a honours degree in illustration. I'm looking at going on to doing my masters, but enough about me. Let's have a look inside scroller box. One zero seven. Ta da! That's it. Okay. So let's get the contents out of the box. Oh, that's weighty. That's very weighty. I'm guessing this suit is a lollipop of some kind, if that's what I think it is. In which case, no, the kids are not getting that one, and neither is the husband. Because anyone who knows me and knows the drill knows the sweets normally go to my husband but depending on what lollipop it is i'm having it okay so artwork first oh look at that everybody look at this isn't it beautiful and quaint and oh my gosh i love it the little lily of the valleys and oh or are they snowdrops no they're lily of the valley lily of the valley Featured artist this month is Rosemary Baker. She began her, art as a, her journey as a watercolour artist at the age of 50. Five zero. So remember, folks, it is not too late to go and do what you love and be something. So she lives in a multi-generational household in New Jersey with her husband, two grown sons, her octogenarian father, and four cats. I want to know their names. I like my cat. Rosemary's worn many hats in life, including holding a corporate job information in information technology, founding an internet photo greeting card company, learning to be a beekeeper. I kind of want to learn about that. That sounds interesting. Working as an EMT for a busy 911 service. She's passionate about women's rights. LGBTQIA plus inclusivity. Freedom for Ukraine and creating a just and equitable world for everyone. Do you know what? Those are things I can absolutely get behind. Absolutely. And her Instagram is beeswax arts or beeswax eggs. Isn't that just so sweet though? I mean, he's, look, he's got little little tassels with the, the lily of the valley on. Aren't they so cute? Oh, I want to frame this one, I think. I love it so much. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here because I like it. It's not going to stand up there though. I might have to sort of sandwich it. There we go. There we go. So we've got some watercolour paper, which so I'm guessing some kind of watercolour paints of some description. Watercolour gouache paints, I don't know. Which kind of makes me happy because I like watercolour. My, my friends who are no doubt watching this video, hello, you know who you are. You know how much I like watch, watercolour stuff. So. <gasps> Oh, it's a drumstick. It's a drumstick. Oh, that'll get pilfered. That'll get pilfered. It's a sticker. We have got a Cartman watercolour set. Sketches watercolour set. Oh, how lovely. A slim eraser. This this is the total travel sketch kit. This is slim eraser. Four uh, B Faber Castell and a zero point seven Faber Castell black fine liner. This is a total travel sketch set. This is 
this is the kind of thing I know I said I was keen in this and this might be heresy for some of you but I don't like drumstick lollies I used to I don't anymore the husband's probably getting this one I'm gonna put that over there a little sticker so let's remove the tissue and before we start before we start getting swatchy with it let's have a look in this month's magazine here we go of course first page details about your ta -da, your scrawler set now remember to scan the qr code find out all the information for supply and prices so if you love this that much and i don't know you lose your eraser or you run out of um run out of paint pan and you know what to get and where to get it Oh, her art is just lovely. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Her art is so nice. It's gorgeous. And it's, oh, it's so wonderful. Now, scrawler tips. Always good. Water to paint ratio. Textures. Always swatch your watercolour paints. Always swatch your watercolours. And the way I do it is I like to go from a thick all the way up to thin so I can see like the gradient. And here we warm up, warm up with a bunch of flowers. And look at this. Look, look at this beauty. So, how does she? Um, masking fluid for a lot of it. Yeah, not surprised. I'm not that. I'm not that neat. I would probably use a lot. <gasps> Look at this. And who do we recognise on here this week? Hmm. I recognise Trinkety. Lady Doodlebug, hello again. I recognise you. Carmel, hello again, Carmel. I like this one. This one's good. Oh, I like this one. It's very creative. Using all the different things from the last book. Remember, it's paint pens uh, in box one hundred five. Paint pens. And hey, look! It's a blast from the past. It's a scrawler gallery from old scrawlers. We've got some from box fifty nine here. I wasn't a scrawler for these boxes. I only got my first scroller box was box 97, but I've gone back and I've gathered as many as I possibly can. Oh. And finally, we have this month's scroller challenge. Scrawlers, it's time to discover and create a new world and perhaps find some tiny friends along the way. This month's featured artist has greatly inspired this whimsical theme. While we don't know where your creative path will take you, we encourage you to stay curious with your supplies for this month's artistic adventure. And our scrawler challenge this month is Guardians of the Garden. That could give quite a few interesting things. So, we pop that to the side. Pop that to the side. And now we go to our first box. So what do we do? First part of the box, first page, we get swatchy with it, don't we? And it's time to get swatchy with it. So let's get the page out. What watercolour paper we've got here? We've got a uh, 200 GSM uh, acid free water paper. Water paper? Watercolour paper nice green to it this 
Now, this is a proper sketch set. I'm a sucker for um, watercolour stuff, as many many of my friends will say. Ah, here we go. Here's what we've got on the inside here. We have got lemon yellow, cadmium ye lemon yellow, cadmium red pale hue, alazarin crimson, ultramarine, cerulean blue, viridian, sap green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber and Chinese white. Oh, there we go. It's a little, little information chart, colour chart. There we are. If you look at that, it's a nice little little colour chart that comes with it. So you know what colours there are. And let's have a look, shall we? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's so compact. Oh, I'm going to have to unwrap every single one of these. That's a bit. Of a pain in the butt, but hey. Bear with me while I have. It's like unwrapping a load of sweets. You know? Unwrapping sweets. I'm just going to unwrap a load of watercolour flavoured sweets. Well, I don't suppose it would be watercolour flavour, would it? What flavour do you think each watercolour would be? I suppose like China white would probably be something like, I don't know, mint gum. And like lamp black would be like licorice. Maybe. Yeah, lamp black would be like licorice. And like the lemon yellow, I would say that is more like a sherbet or something. Definitely more like a shadow. And then we got. See, these, it kind of reminds me of um, like a chew or something like that. A chew, maybe. Um, I apologise now if you guys can hear any noise. In the background, it's late here, and the children are not asleep yet because it's a summer holiday, so they're being noisy. God, this one doesn't want to open, does it? So there's always one. There's always that one stub and sweet that you can't open, or if you just wipe them, there we go. And you know you it, it's it's always the sticky ones, and you end up having to try and peel all the paper off the sweet before you can enjoy it. And then of course it doesn't feel right on your tongue. Once you put it in your mouth, it feels weird on your tongue because it's all weird and sticky and what have you. Because you've had to try and peel everything off it because you've had to handle it so much just to be able to actually use it. I say use it to, to get all the paper off and to actually eat it. There we go, we're almost done. <laughs> we're not almost done, we're halfway through. So this this green, I reckon this would be like watermelon. This would be like a watermelon-y type sweet. Like, um, at the shop they do like these watermelon slice things that the kids love. They're covered in like sugar and they're... I don't know if they're meant to be sour or, or what, like the tang plastic kind of type thing, like Haribo type thing. So I reckon these would be watermelon. This colour, the viridian hue. And then like sap green, that's a lime. That's definitely like a lime flavour. Like a, a, a chocolate lime or something. That'd be nice. I haven't had chocolate limes in ages. I do rather want some now. I absolutely love those sweets. The things that I love, like chocolate limes. They're my favourite chocolate limes. And then um, 
so there's chocolate limes coconut mushrooms i don't know if anyone remembers those or you where you are you can still get those coconut mushrooms and toffee chewing nuts absolutely love those um childhood sweets being honest they're childhood sweets and i love them because when it was my birthday growing up my granddad's would take me and i'm showing my age now take me to woolworths good old woolies and woolworths near me had this absolutely massive pick and mix session section i don't know if it was like this in all the other woolies but it had this huge pick and mix section and one and it was spanned both sides of the aisle one side was all your loose sweets so like your smarties your your um jazzies yeah hundreds and thousands topped things and all the rest of it and then the other side was all your, your boiled sweets and your eclairs and then anything that came in a wrapper you know anything and everything that came in a wrapper and then what he would do now bear in mind this is quite a few years ago now as i say i'm showing my age um i was about you know seven or eight so we're talking like you know late 90s early 90s sorry and um, what my granddad would do is he would just let me go nuts. So here you go. He'd let me fill up a whole pick and mix bag. Full to the brim. And <laughs> nine times out of ten, it would be just chock full of coconut mushrooms and chewing nuts be doing nuts and that's all there would be in there right there we go we finally got them all free Ta -da! here we are so i was advised by my school of friends in my little art group i would need water so I do have someone standby because I'm smart like that. Okay, here we go. Nice little travel brush. So let's get swatchy with it, shall we? This is definitely a this is a travel sketches dream. This set. I think. I think it's a really good travel sketch dream like set because it's it's the perfect size because it's 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 called a sketches pocket set so you know take from that what you will. I'm not being too particularly like stupid about it. Um but like the whole scroll set, I think, is like a proper take it with you wherever you want to go sort of set. Oops, not enough water on the brush there. It's a full on take it with you, go where you need to go set. You could make some beautiful art wherever you wanted with this. They all start off really nice and strong as well, which is a good thing. I think the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a black. But that that's a personal preference. I like my paint sets to have a black. Now 
now it's just a me thing to the point where I will replace a color if I have to you know now I don't think because this is China white I don't think we're going to see it much it's very very faint it is there but it's faint I think it's mostly there because it's been tinted by the uh, burnt umber before it but it is there Okay, and then we've got the 0.7 pit pen. And of course our 4B pencil. And there we go. We're all swatched up. So... Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the white's just start, still drying a little bit. It is there. I promise you it's there. But here we go. This is the Swatch Box, Scroller Box 107. I look forward to seeing everybody's wonderful creations in the Scroller Box community. Don't forget there is a Discord as well. Not just showing them on Instagram, showing them on Facebook. There is a Discord for the subscribers as well. Come say hello. We don't bite. Honest. And there we are. I like these colours. I do. I really do. There we have Scrawler Box 107. Right, thanks very much for joining me for this brief little rundown of Scrawler Box 107. I can see we're having a lot of fun with this one. And I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves and each other. Have fun. Enjoy the summer. And don't work too hard. Bye-bye.